Coming up in the Midweek Madness Show of AFL Today, we have news coming out the wazoo. We're talking about umpiring for some reason. I take a bit of a zag on that one. Hey, should Dusty retire, Alex? Absolutely. Watch out. Hey, Stats Boy, what do you like most about this show? Oh, Banking's going to win the Coleman over Charlie Kerner. Thing is, we've got a Brownlow predictor as well. We're talking two-thirds of the way through the season. Brownlow, we've got the Coleman. We've got Yeah, Nas. Absolutely everything covered for your AFL news right now on the Midweek Madness AFL Today Show. Now, the Midweek winners and losers of the week in the middle of the week. The man with a $2 haircut. Getting dunked on, left, right, and center. So Andrew Dillon comes out. He's like, I'm boring as good as it's ever been. Is he all right? I don't football. think he watches footy even though he runs the comp. Well, I mean, there's a lot of schmoozing you got to do at these events. Like, you've been to these events, Stats Boy. Have, you've I done have. a lot of schmoozing. You're a big schmoozer. Yeah, no, he not, as a, he, not as much as you. Not as much as the guy to my right. Hey, what the hell, schmooze. man? <laughs> Yeah, Stat- in fairness, I've got a meeting with the AFL tomorrow. Yeah. So <laughs> you are basically <laughs> schmooze boy. That's how you roll. Yeah. Okay. Andrew we Dillon. Saw, we saw you at that final trying to side up to Gil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, we're like this. Little, little we're like this. Too late, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Andrew Dillon, though, just sitting there going, nah, look, I'm schmoozing. I'm not watching any of this game. Like, just maybe watches like the uh, cut up highlights at the end of watch the game. Watches the three AFL minute K- K- KO mini. The K- KO mini. <laughs> he loves a good KO mini. It is ridiculous to be like, oh, Nah, it's great. This is quite literally the yeah. best umpiring has ever been. You could very clearly just go, we can always improve That's on exact, what we're doing. Like the old political sort of stance where he goes, I think it's good, but we can definitely improve. We can that, do better. That's all he had to say. Do you know, like every single, I don't think. It's literally every performance review I have, it's like, you can do better, Alex. <laughs> there's From a, him? There's a lesson there. <laughs> <laughs> that was the joke. I'm, in the, I'm in the middle of this. Ooh. The vibe, though, is very simply just like, hey, there's not a fan base in the AFL who's like, you know what's awesome this year? The umpiring. Well, never, there's never anyone is going to say, oh, that ump- game was umpired great. But if you don't but notice them, it's that, that means yeah. it's been umpired great if you don't notice it. And yes. that's, you never want to notice no, it. That's yeah, the entire course, thing. The fact that it's been such a – like we talk about AFL bingo and news bingo like each year. And it's like, all right, what are we going to roll the – Red roll, card, state of origin. We talk about state of origin. We'll talk about time on. We'll talk about – Umpires. We should draws. We'll talk about umpires. Yeah. Right? Week on, week on, week. Haircuts. It feels like every two weeks That's we're just like, oh, my God, we've got another horrible example of really bad umpiring. Yes. And for Andrew Gill and Dylan to come out and be like, nah, man, what are you talking about? It's like he's basically gaslighting us. He's like, no, <laughs> yeah. what are you talking about? The umpires are fantastic. That's a very good You're point. wrong. <laughs> You're wrong. You're not watching footy correctly. Does this like, now wait a minute. Come, come down to the AFL umpires need to be full-time because it's the umpires have come and said, they are. we don't want to be full-time because we enjoy the, the lifestyle and freedom that we have outside of footy. It's like, mm. you can still do another job. I'm not stopping Most, you from yeah, doing like full-time, Uber. I think. No, they're not. not. What are you doing? I know but, lots of them are teachers and things like that. But, but. It, but that's what I mean. It's like... Mm. If you are not doing well at your job and this is you are in charge of umpiring yeah. one of the – let's be honest, it is a very confusing game, but a great game. Shouldn't you be full-time given the professionalism and standards of the AFL? Because I don't think that yeah, maybe. an NBA umpire or an NFL umpire are on weekend – on during the week going, right, our kids, seven plus six. Yeah, that's true. That's where you're kind of actually funnily wrong. NBA yeah. are full-time, obviously, because there's yeah. a million games. Yep. But NFL, they were always sort of like these weird – they've only just gone professional. Really? So for years and years, it's like, I'm also a lawyer during the week. You're like, what are you do- – why are you also jacked? Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> actually, it's crazy. That, is that because there's only like – was it 16 weeks? Yeah. Exactly. So 18 weeks 18 in weeks. the season. Yeah. Okay, so baseball yeah. umpires. There exactly. You know. Baseball umpires, you're always going. NBA, okay. same sort of thing. Ice hockey too. Let me zag for a second, though. Yeah. <laughs> He's, already, he's zigged. But Let no, me yeah, zag. He's got I it. love a good zag. <laughs> they Man with a $2 full. haircut. He's like, you know how we can actually be the most professional league in the world? We're just going to start acting like the NFL. This is awesome. Everything's Ooh. fine. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Are we going to get a team in <laughs> Los, all good. Las Vegas? They're going to start going, you know who's in under-inflating balls? Dustin Martin. We're just going to drag his good name through the mud in his last season or something. Aww. We're going to throw up one coach under the bus. We're going to get some sort of like big thing going on as well. This is literally the racing New South Wales approach to horse races. Like, everything's great. Nothing's wrong here. It's like country races, like oh, guys, um, our tracks are stuff we fix up. But Ramwick's awesome. Like the NFL go, you know who the actual problem is? Colin Kaepernick. Like that's <laughs> oh, exactly geez, where yeah. Andrew, Gill- Andrew Gill and Dylan's going to go. I know an exact You know what the worst part about the a- AFL is right now? Tell you what, you know, I reckon it <laughs> might actually be Jordan Boyd. And you're like, what? <laughs> Jordan Boyd. <laughs> Jordan Boyd's like, what the hell did I do, man? Anyway, and that comes the other midweek winner. Jordan Boyd got off. Justice was served. I, I loved every second of that. That was one of the most weird 
bizarre MRO decisions you'll <laughs> ever see where it's like, yo, he very clearly ducks in. If Jordan Boyd's trying to stop and he ducks into the dude, yeah. what are we doing here? Yeah. Why are we wasting time with this sort of stuff? And, and why does that one get ever. through there? Yeah, it was four hours, so four we can get into that later. They need well, a danger field just to get up there and give a soliloquy. And away yeah, we a go. game is shorter than, than the tribunal when it was clearly... David Zeta's clearly, just woken up. David Zeta tried the... Uh, he's very, very Schnitz funny. on, on a stick. He's like, it looks horrible. Schnitz, it's do just a piece of schnitzel, a piece of schnitzel, schnitzel with, with the stick. skewer stats, yeah, guys. It just looks horrible. It's not that hard to figure out. some seasoning or something. It just looks crap. Anyway, good job, Jordan Boyd. <laughs> Not a war criminal. No. If you like the vibe of this AFL Today show, I'll tell you what. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, do all the good stuff. The full shows are unreal. Check it out. Go on. Do it now. Do it. <laughs>